They did it. Rebecca and Ziad finally officially got married. Some pretty interesting news. I don't know if you guys remember Rebecca and Ziad. I had a love-hate relationship with that couple, and I will get more into that in a couple of seconds. But first, I have to spill the beans and tell you guys that number one, Ziad did make his way over to the U.S., before this whole coronavirus crazy pandemic. And number two, while he was over here, they got married. Pretty crazy, and we have to give credit to SoapDirt, SoapDirt.com. I'll put a link below to their two articles on this subject. They were the ones that found this. I am just reporting it, so we must give them credit. But they found two very interesting things that totally prove that Ziad came over to the US and that they got married. Number one, they started finding these pictures on Instagram like this this right there that Rebecca posted on her Instagram with her new puppy and you can clearly see a wooden chair in the background. We'll take a look at Ziad's background right there. Also the exact same wooden chair. Of course that got some of us thinking that there is a pretty big possibility that he is over in the US. Soap Dirt also found this picture right there where you can clearly see that Rebecca and Ziad are in the exact same car. But if that's not enough proof for you, check out this picture of Rebecca and Ziad's two separate pictures. And in the background, you can clearly see the exact same windows, the exact same red pipes, and clearly they are in the exact same room. However, Rebecca and Ziad have not, you know, officially announced that they're together in the US or that they even got married, which makes me believe that they're probably filming another season of 90 Day Fiance and they probably signed a big old fat 90 Day Fiance check, which I have no idea how much money they get for doing this show. But either way, they probably signed an NDA and they obviously can't, you know, speak of it. But they're not doing a very good job hiding it. So we saw these three separate pictures that clearly gives us an idea that hey yeah they are together and Ziad somehow you know finagled his way into the US before all this coronavirus travel ban craziness and then the icing on the cake is when soap dirt found this right there Rebecca and Ziad's marriage certificate showing that they did in fact get married in Georgia on, I believe, April 19th. So shoot, just about a week ago. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And it sounds like the venue where they got married, someone reached out to them and they are still taking weddings on. So clearly, you know, it's true. It happened. Rebecca and Ziad, they're married. And now on to what I think of this whole situation. Like I said, I had a love-hate relationship with this couple. You guys are more than welcome to put in the comments below what you think of this couple. When I first saw them together, there was always an annoying drama and I just didn't like them together. Remember that scene where Rebecca and Ziad went to that hookah lounge and they were hanging out and it was one thing after another with her jacket and her outfit and this and that and Ziad was just getting so mad and he was furious and then his family didn't like Rebecca and there was just one thing after another which made me personally believe that this couple probably shouldn't be together and then Rebecca had so many previous relationships I just didn't like it didn't think they were going to work, and I didn't think it was a good idea. However, as the couple progressed, something inside of me kind of changed. Ziad cut his hair, he was looking a little bit better. I don't know why, but I was just starting to like them more and more. I don't know if they're going to work. I don't know if they're a good fit. Maybe they will still be an explosive, toxic, somewhat toxic couple over here in the US. I hope that they work but I kind of like them a little more. Maybe it's the haircut, maybe, I don't know, but something about this couple, I can kind of see them kind of working. Rebecca's kind of a biker, hard knocks girl, and so is Ziad, it kind of seems like. So maybe they will, maybe they won't, I have no idea. But I do know one thing, that Rebecca and Ziad are married. So put in the comments below what you think of this couple. And while we're on the topic of 90 Day Fiance, we have to have to have to talk about that BGL, Lisa, from 90 Day Fiance, who is engaged, and I believe actually married, to Usman, did come out and share her comments on the podcast that Usman did with The Breakfast Club host. If you aren't familiar with the podcast I am talking about, long story short, Usman did a podcast and he shared some hard truths of what he's been going through 
Of course, it's his side of the story. We don't know how true it is, but he just shared what he's been going through with his relationship with Lisa, and it sounded like, you know, there was a lot of crap going on. He was just trying to keep her happy, and he was even talking about it, that there were times when he was kind of mentioning to Lisa, maybe we should kind of slow this down, backpedal a little bit, and maybe even just be friends. And he was saying that Lisa did even make comments of, you know, really hurting herself if he was to leave her. However, Lisa went to In Touch and shared her side of the story and said, that is completely false. I never said that. I don't believe anything he's saying. And she even went to as far as to say that they got into an explosive fight and that everything that he said in that podcast interview, which was very crazy stuff, that it was all a complete lie. Do I believe Usman? Do I believe Lisa? I am going to just stay out of this one completely and let you guys comment below your thoughts. You are probably already know what I'm thinking, and like I said in the last video, I'm gonna take a couple steps back from this couple and just let it play out and see where it goes, but you guys are more than welcome to comment your thoughts. I was shocked to hear Lisa, you know, come out and say her side of the story that everything Usman was saying was a lie in that interview because, you know, obviously, clearly, she doesn't want to break her NDA either, so I feel like she really has to tiptoe around what to say, what not to say, so that can kind of be a sticky situation, but it seems like Usman didn't, you know, care at all, so maybe he was just mad at Lisa, maybe it's the truth. Who really knows? Crazy, crazy, crazy dirt. Put in the comments below what you guys think of Rebecca and Ziad and Lisa and Usman. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for many more.